name is Natalie and welcome to my channel. This is my very first YouTube video, so welcome. Um, just a little bit about my channel. I'm going to be discussing things with, like travel because I absolutely love to travel. And I've been on many trips and I always thought, hey, I should record them or talk about things um, related to travel. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, I'm also going to be talking about my hair. I am a natural. Um, I have natural hair. I've been natural for about three and a half years now. And, um, you know, so natural hair is important to me, hairstyles, hair care, things like that. Um, and so my channel is going to be a little bit of a hodgepodge of, of different things that interest me and hopefully um, will interest some of you as well. So this very first video is about packing. And I'm making it because my friends and I, two friends and, um, and I, are going to be heading out to the Mediterranean in about three weeks. We're going on an eight-day cruise, and we're hitting islands like Santorini, Mykonos, we're going to Athens, um, we're going to split Croatia, and uh, we're going to Venice. So we're really looking forward to that. But I have challenged my friends to pack everything for our trip in one bag. A carry-on rolling bag that's going to go with us on the plane. And they swear that it cannot be done. So I'm making this video because I want to prove to them that it can be done. And this is going to be one of those realistic videos. This is real life. This is not because I did a lot of searches on YouTube for packing light and you know there are the videos with people who are like yeah you know, they've got one pair of pants and two shirts and then you know they're traveling for two months. That's not realistic for me. I do need more than one pair of pants. I do need more than two shirts. But I want to show that you can pack for eight days away in a carry-on and that includes swimsuits it includes your shoes your toiletries everything the quintessential item that you're going to need to, in order to do this right are packing cubes packing cubes will save your life they are awesome so I'm going to show you that it is possible to pack for an eight-day cruise in the Mediterranean in nothing but a carry-on bag. So I have everything separated out based on how I'm going to wear them. So I have the tops here, I have my pants and dress here, and then I have tops for formal wear such as like when we're going to dinner over here. And yes, I'm going to get all of this into one suitcase and there's going to be room left over for other things. So if you think about it, these are the pants I'm going to wear on the plane to go to Venice. Black pants and a black top. So we're actually going to take this out because this is what I'm wearing to the airport and I can wear this home at the end of the trip as well. It also serves as an extra pair of pants and an extra top while I'm on the cruise. I have one, two, two pairs of capri pants, a khaki pair, kind of army green khaki pair, and a black pair. I have a pair of shorts that I'm going to wear while I'm on board and I have this awesome skirt slash dress that I got at a local store didn't cost much and it's really cool because you can wear it as a skirt and then you can also pull it up and wear it as a dress and these ties can tie around your neck and turn into a halter dress. You can um, wrap them around your arms 
make them into sleeves. So this item alone can be used in a number of different ways to create at least four different outfits. For tops, I have a halter that I'm going to be wearing on board that go with these Bermuda shorts. And then for all of the shore excursions, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tops. So that's pretty much one different, a different top for each day. And on board for dinner, if we decide to go to the dining room, I also have one, two, three, four different fancier tops that I can use and I can mix and match them with either the skirt or with the pants. So what I basically did is I tried to stick to neutral colors that can mix and match with black and with, with green and that way I have more options. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to get all of this into my suitcase. And as I said before, the number one item that you have to have are packing cubes. I got these great packing cubes off of Amazon.ca. They were it was actually a set of three for about 25 Canadian dollars. I am in Canada, by the way. And so it comes with a medium packing cube, a really big packing cube. And then there is a smaller packing cube that you can probably put like your electronics and things like that. So I'm going to get all of this into this packing cube. The important thing to do is roll your clothing. So I'm going to roll my clothes. and start filling up the spaces in my packing cube. Now notice I'm leaving space in the middle because that's actually where I'm going to put my pants. I'm not going to roll my pants because I don't want them to get too wrinkled. So here's one pair. Here's my other pair. And my shorts. And then I'm going to put the shirts. Oh, and then there's also my dress slash skirt. And what's really important to know is that a lot of these items are either cotton so that once you hang them up in the room, the wrinkles will fall out. And the wrinkles that don't fall out can come out with some downy wrinkle release. Or they're of a really lightweight polyester that will allow you to, again, not be that wrinkled and can be released with some downy release, wrinkle release spray, since you can't take um, an iron on board the ship. So I'm going to keep rolling, and I'm going to show you what the packing cube looks like when it's done. Okay, so everything.
that I showed you earlier, all of the clothes, except for the shoes, are in this packing cube, believe it or not. Everything. And there's actually a lot of space in here. I didn't really fill it to the capacity, but the reason I love packing cubes is because they can be scrunched up, flattened, and your clothes are perfectly fine. This is going to be my suitcase. It is a Ricardo Beverly Hills, and no, I'm not being sponsored by them. This is my favorite suitcase. It is a 20-inch four-wheeler that I got on sale. The inside is pretty awesome. It's pretty deep inside. And then there is a separate compartment that you can put other things in. So my clothes are going to go in here. As you can see, pretty much takes up most of the zipper, the lower part of the suitcase. I'm also going to put in my shoes. I'm only going to take two pairs of shoes. You need some flip-flops when you're on deck. And I got these really cool shoe covers um, on eBay. I think they were like maybe five for a dollar or something like that. So I can stick these down in here because there's a lot of room. And then I'm going to take a pair of sandals. I'm going to drop this one. And these are to wear on board with everything else, like when we go to dinner, because you really only need one pair of, of additional shoes. And I'm going to be wearing my walking shoes, which are the shoes that I'm going to be wearing throughout the shore excursions. I'm going to be wearing those to the airport so I don't have to pack them. So that's done. Flip it around. And as you can see, I've still got a whole section that can be filled. The next thing I'm going to pack are my personals, which I'm not going to obviously show you. But those will go into the medium sized packing cube. So let's assume these are some of my unmentionables. I definitely have a swimsuit, which I'm packing, and I don't swim, so this is really for tanning on the, you know, on the deck of the um, ship. I have a cover-up. I have a t-shirt, which I'm going to sleep in. And a pair of leggings, which I'm going to sleep in some socks, and let's just assume I throw in some pairs of, you know, personals and a couple of bras, and that's really all I need. And here you go. Done. I still have room over here. I haven't packed anything in here yet, but I really don't need to. So that's done. I also have room in here in case I need to put something in there. Now, toiletries. This is my toiletry case. It's already packed because uh, I, I always have it packed because I, I travel sometimes on business, so it's much easier to just keep everything packed as it is. Everything that's in here is what's going. And again, essentials that are easy. To pack. So some people pack hand sanitizer. That's fine, but these do the same thing. They're wet ones and they're antibacterial wipes. Just tear one off, wipe your hands. Just as good. You've got your downy release spray. This is actually ginger tea, and that's just in case you know you get seasick. Smaller. This I found um, on eBay, these are actually makeup sample um, jars that I got. I think I got like 10 for 2 bucks or something. And so this is Olay cream for my face. And you can use these for anything. Hair gel, um, 
you know, face cream, um, sunscreen, anything that you want to carry that you don't want to have to carry the big 8 ounce container, since you can't, um, carry it on the uh, plane with you. So you just move, you know, transfer it into something smaller. And that's what this is. This is Olay for my face. And earplugs, toothbrush, that sort of thing, toothpaste. And again, as I said, I travel a lot, so I go to a lot of hotels. I take the samples. Um, this is shower gel. Um, I've got soap, lotion, which I put into a smaller container. This is probably just some regular, you know, Vaseline intensive care lotion or something that I transferred over. And um, breeze with air freshener, very good to have if you're sharing a cabin with someone, which I will be doing. And so my whole makeup case is it's pretty big, but and if you zip it up, it's like this. But it also folds flat out. So I'm going to actually fold it and put it here. And it will sit like that. So that's it. That's everything in my carry-on. That's all I need. Zip it up. And there you have it. Everything I could possibly need for an eight-day cruise in my carry-on. And I still got room just in case I bring back some souvenirs. And so, for the final part of this video, I'm going to talk about what I'm carrying in the bag that's going with me as well on the plane. So this is my additional carry-on tote bag that I'm taking along with my suitcase. And in it, I'm going to have a water bottle which you should have with you. It's going to be empty, of course, and then you fill it once you cross through security. This is going to be my electronics bag. So in it is going to be a selfie stick, all of my USBs. This is a must-have for a cruise. You have to have one of these. It's an awesome type of extension cord, um, extension plug, so it plugs into one wall outlet it gives you three additional outlets and four USBs. So you can actually charge seven devices at the same time because you know there's never enough outlets uh, in a cruise cabin. So all of my electronics, my iPod, all of these things are going to go into one bag so that I don't have to be looking for them. camera. I have numerous SD cards because I intend to be taking a lot of pictures. My iPad and my e-reader. My wallet. My passport holder. You put everything in here. Your ticket, your boarding pass, all that stuff. And a cute little shawl in case I get cold. And that's my carry-on. So I will have this, and I will have my rolling carry-on, and that's it. enjoyed my video, um, and I hopefully I also was able to convince you that you can pack for eight days away from home during the summer in nothing but a rolling carry-on suitcase. Thanks again for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. And my next video will be um, one about my hair because, again, I'm going on vacation and I have to figure out what to do with my hair. So stay tuned for my next video. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.